Hallelujah. Just thank him for his grace and his mercy. If it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, I would have been swallowed up. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The rest of the world will be the world to receive the word of the Lord. And it shall come to us by none other than the great prophet, the pastor, the bishop of this house, none other than his grace, Bishop Perry W. Jenkins. Receive him. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. said it like this, if we have hope in this world only, then we're people most miserable. That's the, it's, misery has taken us over. We ain't satisfied with a wife, we got to have three wives. Not satisfied with having a husband, we got to have a husband and a wife. These are the times that try to and prayer because it's a season of sacrifice so what I said I was going to do is read Psalms 116 and 12 read it for me what shall, I read? What shall who? I who? I what shall I render or give uh huh uh huh for all his benefits now think of all of the benefits God has blessed you with. Yes. And in the face of what God has done for you through Jesus, ask yourself the question, what shall I render? What shall I render? And I'm going to give you the answer to that. Go to Romans 12 and 1. Paul says to the church of Rome, what? Well, I beg you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you sacrifice what? Hey, don't give me no nothing dead. Giving up chocolate. Come on. Giving up caffeine. That's a diet. Come on. That's for health reasons. Giving up spaghetti and marinara sauce. I beg you to death. Yes, Lord. By the mercy of God. To present your body. He wants 
wants it all. Under God. A lively. A living. A breathing. Sacrifice. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We're going in 40 days of consecration.